Good early morning on this beautiful, gorgeous, stunning, glowing sunrise in the greater Roseville metropolitan area in the great state of Michigan, right? Now, if you live in the greater Roseville metropolitan area or the immediate surrounding area, know where your guns are have plenty of ammo and always I do repeat always be on the lookout for crime as Roseville and this immediate surrounding areas in the greater Warren metropolitan area St. Clair Shores to a much lesser extent East Point to at least the same or higher extent and Detroit Southern Clinton Township always be on the lookout for that thief in the bush the scumbag lurking in the shadows because that's what the crackheads do in the greater roseville metropolitan area um they are out lurking at all hours of the day and night and if you leave your doors unlocked as we know they've hit me about nine times since i lived there over six years they've gotten a, a variety of useless items old phone chargers uh, but they left weed before so I was happy about that in my Jeep But they took an old phone charger one time they left weed about $25 in a bag of change that I had collected when I used to collect change now I just spend the change right um, Because it's kind of useless to collect the change um, And they left that and they stole um, They didn't take my pack of cigarettes that were in there. They took nothing of value every time they went into my car They've taken the least valuable items out of what's in there. There's never anything of much value, but weed's more valuable than a shitty old phone charger. Not even an app. They got an Apple phone. That was the most expensive item they ever got for me, the fucking scumbags. They got my Apple charger. So that was like $30. But all the other chargers they stolen like three other times in my Jeep when I used to have, drive the Jeep because my door locks went all fucked up. Uh, they would get gas station three dollars. There, I think they were six dollars at the time. Now they're like twelve or eighteen when you go to buy those those fucking Chinese ones. Um, but they used to get three dollar chargers that didn't even work. You know what I mean? I had nine of them laying around because they'd work for a week and then they're done because they're three dollars. Well, now they're twelve, so you don't buy those ones no more. You used to only buy when they were three because you you were in a pinch. You know, you just needed to work for till you got home, or you know what I mean, till your day was over. But I had a coin request. And I didn't even see it. I'm sorry, my man. You know, we're going to go find your name. He was in my PayPal. Where fuck's my PayPal at? Uh, he sent it on the 13th, I think. Uh, Mag store. Some Mag's store. Could you do your opinion on these? He wanted, I don't know what, I don't have time to look up Nemo. Or whatever the fuck that is. Safe Moon, it's very easy technical analysis, my man. Don't buy it. If you're in it, get out. Um, if you're in a hole, just take the loss. Because that's a fucking pile of shit. There's many other good places your money could be the next six years while that thing's going bankrupt. Telcoin, I'll do. And Spark Point, I'll do. Sorry, you did this on the 12th. The coin request. My bad, my man. I fucking did not see it. I've been extremely busy at work. But here is a special coin request for you on my drive to work. Spark point. You can see we had a head and shoulders up there real quick. While I'm at the traffic light, I can pull my industry exclusive drawing tool. And this is in the daily time frame. You had a left shoulder, elongated head, and a right shoulder. And we broke that. And uh, the neckline was there, right? And this would have been your targeted move at the neckline, which would bring you down to uh, almost... Bringing it negative, so you know it's not going to go that low. So you knew it was going to come way the fuck down. So we'll get rid of that. You see that head and shoulders, and that's confirmed now. It, the targeted move is done. So we drew a trend line from when this coin either started or when uh, Trading View is giving me. And here's what you're going to do. You got with a little price box real quick before I start driving. Upper resistance is bam, right? I should have did this earlier. We'll clone that real quick. See if we can swing this off. Lower support. Duh. So upper resistance is point two zeros and a seven, and then lower support is point two zeros and a two six six. And you're gonna bounce in between that and that little pattern that I drew out there for you in our industry exclusive wavy pattern, right? Nobody else has this wavy pattern. We call that that industry exclusive wavy pattern. And this is what you're gonna do 
the next month, month and a half. And then you could have a big pump after that. Or if you continue to break down, spark point is gone, right? This seems like one of those fucking safe moons and cum coin and broccoli coin and uh, uh, Saturn coin. Nah! Safe Saturn coin. Right? That's what this junk sounds like. So I don't know why you're in this. It sounds like you were fleece heisted and shisted by the Crypto Crow, by Carl from the Moon, by Ivan on Tech, uh, by that little Japanese guy that's on there. Uh, he changes his station all the time. Crypto Crew University. Um, that little faggoty, long haired dude that does XRP videos. I'm not sure what his name is. Um, but I'm going to show you some of these uh, fleece heisters and shisters. Right? Let's go find these fleece heisters and shysters. Where are these fucking scum? Right here. These guys. Right? So, whoever the, whoever Moon Lambo is, uh, fleece heister and shyster, the bearable balls, junk, digital uh, scumbag, don't listen to him, uh, crypto cunt right there, don't listen to that guy, we're going to steal it. Digital fuckhead investor, um, he don't know what he's talking about. Coins for fuck. He's a, he don't know what he's talking about. Limbo. He is in limbo because he don't know what the fuck he's doing. I think he tried to spell Lambo, but somebody already took it. Blockchain faggot. He's going to the shit house. Crypto. I don't know who these guys. I do know who these guys are. Crypto Mason. I'm very familiar with that guy. He's the biggest scumbag on the planet. All these are all these people on there. Minus the top one. They're all fleece heisters and shysters. That's why you're coming to this channel from those scumbags. Because they got you into this fucking spark point. The fucking spark point. Vincenzo. I was listening to Lambo Faggot and Crypto Shithead. And they had me going into spark point. After I was in the fucking Dogecoin and the criminal gangster cartel. Fleece heisted and shysted me. And the FBI burnt me down Waco style. And now the IRS is saying I owe $66,000 plus interest. I don't fucking believe it. So I rolled over into the spark point and now I got fucked. I bought it at point a zero, a bunch of twos. And now it's at a fucking point, 19 zeros and a one. Fuck to me, Vincenzo. And now you're telling me this is a pile of shit too. I'm out for blood, Vincenzo. Yeah, I know that. I know my man. And uh, you're going to keep getting fleece heisted and shysted when you listen to those scumbags that I just showed you. So you need to spread the message of Vincenzo into those groups. And get out get out you know those guys are your shark you know i got the shark trying to kill me those guys on all those sites that you're watching are the sharks out to get you and they are fucking you're not looking out for them i'm at least looking out for the that angry shark and i have my angry uh i have my friendly shark that uh helps me out you know he says oh no vincenzo I was swimming along the shore of the La Nina out in the Central Pacific. And my little fishies are telling me that the angry shark is even more upset now that we're going into a second year La Nina Vincenzo. So look out. Look out. Right? He helps me out. But you guys aren't uh, paying attention for the fleece heisters and shysters. And you just fucking walk into every landmine out there. And then old Vincenzo's got to dig the bones out, put you back together, uh, wrap you in some fucking bandages, throw that ointment on you, that anti-burn uh, ointment. And I did all of it. Speaking of burns, Vincenzo burned himself last night. You got to remember, when you're smoking weed and you're cooking with a cast iron, um, just because you uh, set that shit on your stove for 10 minutes, don't mean that cast iron ain't hot. That motherfucker's hot. So, uh, quick uh, reminder, when you're smoking weed as a PSA, uh, do not grab that fucking cast iron handle uh, right after you take it out of the oven because it's going to hurt. But the only good thing about cast iron is, yes, it holds its heat. That's why it gets really fucking hot. But it, it's a, such a good metal of conducting heat. Um, it's on the it it, it, it it sucks the heat in. So when you grab it, it's not like grabbing a hot piece of metal. Where that motherfucker is just putting a huge blister as soon as you touch it, you're getting nine degree burns cast iron you drop it real quick since the heat's really held more deeper into the middle of the cast iron and not on the outside right the outside's cooler than the inside you can grab it and actually get a full handle on it and yeah damn that burns and you set it down and this morning i have no blisters right 
the doubt about a metal pan that I just took out of the oven, I'd be in the fucking hospital right now. You know what I'm saying? Right? So it's a, it's a, it's a very painful uh, cast iron. Uh, it can be painful, but it's also very giving. Come on, motherfucker. You got to hit the gas. You're doing 50 fucking seven miles an hour and you're merging on the freeway. You're going to have to hit that fucking gas puddle. It's on the right side. I know you're driving a 19, I don't know, 91 Ford Ranger pile of shit. Don't get over because I'm about to fucking fly by you because you drive like fuck, right? We're going to hit that Hemi and we're just going to cruise around you and we're going to hope you don't fucking go anywhere near us. You know what I mean? And then this last coin that I'm going to give this guy because he did coin request as I slow down because I'm flying on the highway is, uh, what is this? Tow coin. The fucking tow coin. This one, you're not at the bottom. So if you just bought into this, you got a little bit of time because it, even if it bounces back up there, um, this is your pattern that you're in. You're overhead resistance. You're underneath support. And again, our industry exclusive wavy line pattern, right? And this tow. And this fucking tow coin. This looks like another pile of shit that those guys, that list, Lambo, fuck fart, uh, moon Lambo, and then the limbo asshole, and then the uh, other shit that was in there. These guys are telling you to buy this garbage. I would never be in this coin. I would never be in cum coin, broccoli coin, Shiba coin, uh, safe moon. I can't, I'm not even going to pull the safe moon chart up because um, it's a very simple, get out, you shouldn't be in it. It's just like V-chain and all that other shit. If you're scrambling trying to find random coins like that to try to make money this week, just keep your money on the sidelines. Wait for a coin that's a better coin that's not this junk that you want to buy and just buy that. And then if it goes down, just buy more of it. Because when you're getting into these coins, there's 11,000 of them and growing fast. There's like five new coins a day that come out. Uh, when 95% of these, the 99% of these shit coins in industry exclusive call, when 99% of this garbage, like this coin goes away, it might have been cheap when you bought it at point five zeros and a one, but when it's point infinity zeros and no one at the end and you lose all your money, it was very expensive buy, right? Don't matter if you buy it at a thousand and it goes bankrupt, or you buy it at the lowest number above zero and think, oh, it's cheap, but then it goes bankrupt. It was still a very expensive buy because you lost everything. And that's what's gonna happen in a lot of these coins. This coin's gonna bounce into this descending panel, channel, or descending uh, triangle. And you got a few more, about two months left to bounce, hit down your lower support once, hit your upper resistance once, and come back down, then come back up to upper resistance, and then break it down. That's what you got going on. Like, subscribe, and share. Coin requests always available. Become a member of Jabroni Killer, $10 a month, hashtag Jabroni, right? Vincenzo's Bullish or Bearish Indicators, hashtag Bullish or Bearish Indicators. Uh, Fiscal and Monetary Policy Friday, coming out Friday. We just did a nice midweek episode yesterday. Uh, peace and love. Peace and love.